cannot believe Gaston said that to me. What did he say? Well, what he said was... Notification squad. Hashtag notification squad. Make sure to comment below to let us know if you are a part of the notification squad. So we can welcome you to the squad. Yay! Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, everybody. This is our last day at Disney World. Yes, yes. And it's so sad. But the video isn't over yet. So we're still at Disney World. Yeah. Um, we went to uh, Disney yeah, we did, but we started really, really, really late because we were just tired of constantly waking up early and going to bed late, waking mm -hmm. up early and going to bed late. It, 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 you, you will soon to get tired. You soon yeah. get tired, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of fun, but you just get tired after a while. Yeah. And we went to Chicken Guys. Springs today. Today's our last day at Disney World and I'm really sad but I know that more adventures are to come. Corey right now is ordering some food at Chicken Guy. It's the middle of the afternoon so we always recommend eat when no one else is eating okay because when everybody else is online eating it's it gets crazy and hectic so try to learn how to eat when no one else is eating and it's hard because we're having like a lot of late starts this year like um, we wake up in the afternoon and we're just like uh because we've been coming back home like at two in the morning like back in not home but back at the house wow back in our room at like two in the morning so we get really 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 tired so we like like to like wake up late in this trip so just make sure you eat when no one else is eating that's the best thing i can tell you guys let's try chicken guy this life of ours another youtubers that we love to watch and we're friends with they said Chicken Guy is like not kind of lacking in the seasoning. So we're gonna find out today together. Well, you were over there ordering the food in the long line, the hot sun. Yeah. Baby. I was sitting <laughs> I was sitting down trying to find shade outside. Yeah. My first uh, reaction to Chicken Guy, there is not a lot of shade here. And you would think that because this is in Orlando and it's hot, there would be like more shady seating, you know, to eat outside but there isn't, like there really, really isn't. But over there, there's no shade. There's shade over here, wait, there's shade over here, there's shade over here, there's shade over here, 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 and shade over there, there's shade over there. But look at this. Can you find another game for me? Look at that, no shade at all. Where's the shade? You gotta fight for shade? It's crazy, no shade. And I have partial shade. Oh, thank God, the sun's like, clouds gonna block the sun but I have partial shade over here but you would just think there'll be more shade like look at these people over here about to start ordering to eat like these people right here ordering the food you know for a line you think there'll be like more umbrellas there so I'm kind of disappointed with the lack of shade I got a shadier area right now I'm still waiting for my food Corey's still online and I can't wait to try this chicken let's see if this life of ours what they say is true or not all relative. Let's see all these sauces and let's see what happens. Finally here, and the sauces we got are Nashville hot honey, sweet and sour, special sauce. So first I'm going to just try the chicken plain and let you know what I think of it. 
Okay, go ahead, try it. I see what June was saying. I think he, it was, um, it was. It, High taste. I like the chicken. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't your mama's fried chicken. Yeah. And that's okay. Because it's not your mama's chicken. <laughs> Special sauce, take one. I taste. Add some type of mayo in there and uh, a little bit like a of ketchup. Mayo ish? Yeah. All right, let me oh, try yeah. it. Special sauce. That's it. Yeah. I don't think nothing special about it. <laughs> There's nothing special about it. I'm sorry. I can make that at home. Let's let go away. Sweet and sour. Pineapple juice. Pineapple. It was, it was good. It was good. good. You've got to find the right sauce for you. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. You can't do pineapple on chicken. Um, this is not the Polynesian village. You can't be doing pineapple on chicken. No. All right, what sauce are you doing right now? The natural hot honey. Okay. Not as hot, like, but I do feel the honey in it. It's really pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right. Nashville honey hot. Let's see. Okay. Go honey. I see it. Let's go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The honey. That one is it. That's all right. Walk around. It's better than the other one he tried. The special sauce, there's nothing special about it. <laughs> and the um, the sweet and sour to me, it didn't really taste, it didn't really go with it because the chicken isn't seasoned with anything pineapple or nothing like that. Like at the Polynesian Resort, the nachos were good because the pork was, was seasoned with some um, pineapple-y and stuff like that. That kind of went together. But this is all pepper. This is all pepper and garlic. And the pineapple just do it all. So the verdict is in. This one's the best out of the ones that we got. I know they have more sauces, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And we found a couple. I forgot which one we I think liked. We found one that was really good. Yeah, we found one. I forgot which one I that was. It was called the Nashville Honey. It must have been a Nashville high honey. honey. or high honey or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll see it in a minute. And you already know. You guys, you already know. You know more yeah. about us than we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Okay, so we just met some friends over here. So, what did you get? I got the loaded mac and cheese patty, uh -huh. loaded fries, mm -hmm. tenders. And, and the tenders like us. And I think this is the boss. Boss by the Chinese. Oh, you got the sandwich. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what do you think about the loaded macaroni and cheese? It was all right. It wasn't anything really special. Okay. The bacon, chicken, but the fries are really good. Really okay. good. So what did you like better? You like the little macaroni and cheese better or that? The fries. Oh, okay. The fries. The fries. The fries. Okay. It's a bit too hard. Yeah, the pasta is a bit hard. It's a little what? A bit hard, the pasta. Um, okay. All right. All right, there you guys have it. So what sauces did you guys like the best for your chicken, the dip? I think she got the best sauce, that's the spicy, yeah, the honey mustard. The honey mustard sauce? Okay. We got um, the natural hot and the sweet sour. Okay. Right, okay. Thank you, you guys. No worries. <laughs> so after that, we decided to go to Magic Kingdom one last time, because that's my favorite part, technically. I want to say goodbye to her, Cinderella Castle. Even though it's a flagship park and it's cliche, I gotta say bye to Cinderella's Castle. So.
to Gaston's Tavern yeah. at Fantasyland to try the Lafruz brew. Yeah. And of course, I needed my cinnamon bun, yeah. the giant, colossal cinnamon, cinnamon bun. bun. Make sure you get extra frosting. Always have extra frosting. Disney Food Blog was not playing when they said you need extra frosting. <laughs> Here in the Gaston's Tavern, Corey got us a seat inside. Here is the Gaston's cinnamon bun roll, which I love. Of course, the extra frosting, just as Disney Food Blog says. And here, right here, is the LaFruz brew, which is a real star of the show today, because we're trying to figure out what it tastes like. I can't wait to see and can't wait to try it. How does it taste so far? The froth. It's a hint of apple. Apple, okay. It's with passion fruit and a little bit of... I still I do taste the mango. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Guess it's my turn. Okay, here's the froth right now. Yeah, I see exactly what Corey means. Now let's try the whole sip the drink. Let's see. Wow, it has like a really uh -huh. It tastes a little, I don't know how to explain the taste, but that tastes like apple, the passion fruit, the mango. I'm not sure what else I taste, but it's really good. I have Corey's taste it. I don't know what that other taste is, but I do taste the passion, a little bit of the apple, mm -hmm. and the mango in it. I don't know what that taste is. But it's like creamy, right? Yes, I think it's have a little bit of cream in it. Like a cream of soda, like. Mm -hmm. So we're about to leave, we're heading out. All of a sudden, we see the man, the myth, the legend. No one's sick of Gaston. <laughs> we met Gaston. He just came out like in Gaston fashion. Her. Yeah, like her. Like, all right, who wants a picture? Like, I'm like, who wants to take a picture? Oh, man, all these dogs hey, just running crazy. Adults went crazy. I don't know why we love Gaston. I did not like him as a kid. Especially the ladies. They were yeah, just, the women. Yeah, we like Gaston. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, though, we need to work on <laughs> that sounds a jerk, but yeah. he's, I don't know, he's a fun character. <laughs> We're chit-chatting and talking. Gaston's tall, too, guys. I'm six feet tall, and if you can tell from the video, I look short, and I never look short in videos. <laughs> no, but standing next to him. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Gaston, so Corey's recording our interaction. He forgets to record this. I was so mad at him because he took pictures, but he didn't record. Yeah. I said to Gaston, why are you so mean to bees? He's a good guy. And Gaston was like, well, that's what they always say when a man is wearing a crown. You need to work on your taste in men. I said, that was hard. and I'm looking at my husband like, and he's like. <laughs> I, 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 I was so shocked of it I forgot to kind of record that part because I couldn't believe what he had said out of his mouth and, and that was my fault for not recording that but man that was shocking I was like what did you just you say? need to work on your taste and man oh gosh oh. I was like okay it went, Ooh, that's wild that's, I was like yo chill that was, that was beast <laughs> Right there. Everybody like laughing, like, yo, all like, oh, like wow. yo. <laughs> you did not say that. Gaston's a, a, <laughs> wow. Jack! <All> right. <laughs> Even Gaston, it was time to really leave Disney World. Yeah, it was a sad. And sad. walking out of the out of the Magic Kingdom. And it's looking safe. at the castle the it's last safe. time. Yeah. 
saying goodbye for the last time and wave at it. And we actually got a chance to um, get like a magic card from the fire station. Was it the fire station we went to? To get the car captor? Not car captors. The wow. magic card thing in that Merlin them to defeat the villains. Yeah. Yeah, we got a chance to play with those a little bit, but we had to go. Yeah. So we hopped in a, so we went back to the resort, pick up our bags, hopped in an Uber, and we decided to go home by taking the train. Yeah. But that's not the end of this vlog series. There's a couple of more things we have to talk to you guys about. In the next vlog, we're gonna talk about us on Amtrak, heading from Orlando all the way to New York. And what you need to do to prepare for your next Amtrak train ride. Yeah. I've been on a plane a lot of times. I've been on Amtrak one time as a toddler. I've been on there pl- I've been on Amtrak plenty of times. I and I remember that going on the Amtrak <laughs> as a toddler. But I learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're gonna talk about that in the next vlog, guys. So stay tuned, okay? Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel. We love you, we see you. We thank you guys so very much. And yes. we appreciate everyone, each and every one of your comments. We we like and heart them all. We comment back. We we want to have a conversation with you. <laughs> Add us on Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's lit over there. We're having just a good time with this channel. And I'm really excited about Corey's new camera and everything. So <laughs> I'm sorry, not camera, phone. Yeah, yeah. So um, thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for everything, for liking, sharing, subscribing. You guys are awesome. You know you gotta end it with fireworks. Hey, Momenters. This is Marina from Marina Mouse Vlogs in New York City. Stay inspired and make every day magical. Take care, Take care guys. guys. Bye. Bye.